U.S. Army Sergeant First Class Jared Bullock grew up in Metropolis, Illinois, alongside his three brothers, one of whom is his twin. We spent a lot of our time during the summer working on the farm with my grandpa. So just, you know, basically just learning like hard work, uh, butt whoopings, you know, those kind of things. Played sports uh, all through school, uh, predominantly baseball. Graduated high school, attended college for a little bit. Kind of want to be a teacher. And we had the September 11th, 2001 attacks, and that was the year I was graduating. And, you know, pretty much kind of felt a sense that we need to do something more, so me and my twin enlisted. Jared completed his basic training and was stationed at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Little did he know, he'd soon meet Jessica, who would one day become his wife. I was going to college back in Illinois, and uh, one of my roommates dated his brother. And she said, I want to hook you up with Jared. Dating a military boy, I had never crossed my mind, you know, I never thought about it. And so we actually talked on the phone for a month and pretty much basically fell in love over the phone, never met. And I met his brother first, actually the week before. And I was like, okay, he's kind of cute, you know. And then Jared came, and pretty much thereafter, we just were inseparable. After serving two tours in Iraq, Jared began training for Special Forces. He received a Green Beret, and on October 13, 2013, Jared was deployed to Afghanistan. After doing two tours uh, in Iraq, I kind of wanted to take it a step further because you know everybody wants to be better at their job. So then uh, I went and tried out for Special Forces, took the selection, uh, passed that and it took a year and a half process for me to get that and earn my Green Beret. You know, did several rotations in South America, and then uh, in 2013, while on patrol in Afghanistan on an ATV, hit an IED that resulted in my injury. The blast took the life of his best friend. Though Jared survived, he was severely injured. When he awoke in Germany, he was told he lost his right arm above the elbow and his right leg above the knee. Once Jared was stable, he was flown to Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio, Texas, where he underwent 30 surgeries. While recovering at Brook Army Medical Center, someone suggested Jared contact the Gary Sinise Foundation to apply for a specially adapted custom smart home. You know, I'm one of those people that, you know, I don't, I don't consider it a handout, but I just don't like to ask for things, because that, in, in the line of work that we come from, it's all about you doing it yourself. And so, <clears throat> we did it, and then, She's in the kitchen making breakfast, and the, the caller ID says Gary Sinise, and she's like, I think this is for you. And I was like, I, I ran into the bedroom, because he was in the bedroom, and I was like, I think this phone call might be for you, and I so much wanted to answer it. And it was Gary, and he's like, hey, this is Gary Sinise, and like, all I wanted to do was be like Lieutenant Dan. Like, <laughs> he's like, hey, I just, I want to do this for you, and I, I don't, it's like the great, I don't even know how to put it into words of what it means. I don't know. It's impossible. Jared and Jessica decided to live in Carbondale, Illinois. And with the support of our national partners and independent community donations, the Gary Sinise Foundation began construction on their specially adapted smart home. On June 29, 2017, the home was completed and Jared, Jessica, and their son Aiden moved in. To have that ease of access, to be able to maneuver and be more independent, getting things out of cupboards, taking care of laundry, you know, you have all that power. It's just a good feeling. Perfect, Jared. I love it. Oh. It's like the best I've ever oh. This is my sanctuary right here. Every effort that they've put into this house has come from the heart. And I mean, I don't think Jared and I could be any more grateful and blessed and appreciated. Today, Jared is motivated and active, spending his time keeping fit, pursuing new educational opportunities, and enjoying time with his wife and son. At the Gary Sinise Foundation, we serve our nation by honoring our defenders, first responders, their families, and those in need. To learn more about the Gary Sinise Foundation and how you can support other veterans like Jared Bullock, visit GarySiniseFoundation.org.